is here. It is time to relax and just have fun. That's all we know how to do on Metro Files. So I hope you are ready for it because I am. Thank you so much for joining me on the program today. Before the show starts, this is to our sensitive viewers. Please watch out for flash photography. I'm Anne Umwawadu. Now, anyone who has contributed so much to the education sector in Nigeria deserves to be celebrated. That's what friends and well-wishers came to do when they gathered for the pre-retirement dinner of Professor Akin Oyebode. It was a day to mark 44 years of his service to the education sector in the country. Take a look. He is one of the finest and brightest legal scholars in Nigeria. And little wonder legal luminaries, family and well-wishers are here to dine and wine with the renowned professor of international law, Akindele Babatunde Oyebode. It all begins on the red carpet as guests arrive for the pre-retirement dinner and 44th anniversary of a successful career in law. Senior advocates of Nigeria, professors of law, former and serving deans of law faculties of several universities, as well as lecturers are here. And going round to greet everyone present is the man of the moment, who many say is an epitome of law, unrivaled in his vibrant teaching style. The arrival of the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, kicks off events lined up for the day. great because of the way that they inspire you. I think it's more the inspiration than what they teach. And this is what I think Professor Oyebode really was able to bring to us. With plenty to eat and drink and good music to go with it, guests settle in for an interesting evening. The citation of the man whose contributions to legal education in Nigeria have earned him both national and international recognition is read by Dr. Asikia Ige. Professor Yebodo rose through the ranks to become a professor on 1st of October 1998. He has a distinguished career as a legal academic, I dare say, of the Manxian School. In company of friends and family who call him a father, teacher and mentor, Professor Akio Yebodo cut his lovely cake. 43, 43 and a half, and say 44. This one, thank you, man. They are quite sincerely, I've uh, been in the University of Lagos. It's a unique opportunity because it enables you to mix with all sorts of people from different parts of the country, even uh, foreign countries. Uh, University of Lagos has given me the pedestal uh, for what you call self-actualization. Uh, I've been in China, I've been in India, I've been almost all over the world just because I'm here. And so, as I said, it's, it's a most fulfilling and worthwhile experience. Yeah. 
For a man used to standing on his feet for long hours teaching, dancing doesn't seem like a big deal. Born in December 1947, Professor Akuye Bodi distinguished himself early as a scholar at secondary school level and went on to study international law at degree and master's level at Kiev University in Ukraine. He joined the Faculty of Law of the University of Lagos on the 1st of December 1973 as an assistant lecturer and rose quickly through the ranks. Professor Yebody obtained another Master's of Law from the Harvard Law School and a Doctorate in Law from York University, Ontario, Canada, in 1998. One of his greatest contributions is the designing and coordination of the Masters of International Law and Diplomacy in MILD in 1984. The program has constantly produced successful individuals excelling in their various fields across the globe. I know he's not going, he's not going to, to retire. He's still going to get something doing because he's an active person. So I can't see him retire. He's just retiring from the university, but he still has a lot to do, even for the society. He has left a legacy that we are all trying to surpass, but I know that it's going to be extremely difficult because the shoes are just too big to fill. But today we're extremely thankful that he's alive. We're not here for a funeral. People are here celebrating him. Um, I mean, for the vice president to come all the way from Abuja to honor his former teacher, that should tell you a lot about who the man is. Well, Professor Ebode is a great scholar that we will miss. We learn scholarship from him. We learn maintenance of standard from him. And we learn integrity and honesty for him. Professor Yebode's retirement may be the end of his time in the classroom, but certainly not the end of his lifelong assignment of impacting knowledge. As he bows out of service, Metrophile wishes him more years in good health. Wow, amazing. 44 years is a lot. We say thank you for all the impacts you've already made. Now to give us a 